how to communicate for workplace success. In every workplace, the ability to communicate with your peers, colleague, and superior is the need of the hour. Soft skills are the key to success, and it doesn't matter how good your working style is. With that said, you cannot ignore the value of communication skill in the workplace. Now, everybody wants to grow and look for ways to improve skills. So why not embrace communication skill in the mix? Polishing your communication skill can help you a lot to grow your career and daily success at work. Communication skill augment your ability to exchange ideas and emotions, listen carefully, respond suitably, and absorb information. We shall explore top 10 characteristics of good communication skill. Now, to highlight the value of effective communication at the workplace and the ways you can improve it to achieve success, I have researched the list that includes all the important characteristics of effective communication for workplace success. Now, number one, be a good listener. Active listening is one of the most important parts of a job, so during a presentation or conversation. Be sure to give your undivided attention in your job. It occurs more often than speaking, writing, or reading. Active listening gives you the ability to better understand the messages and you can respond accurately. So, as a good listener, you get the most of the conversation. Number two, address the non-verbal signals. You can never ignore the importance of eye contact. Your body language, facial expressions, hand gesture, and tone of your voice. All these activities provide support to productive communication at the workplace. The importance and role of all these factors support this statement that non-verbal signals communicate more than words when you are trying to convey a message. Well, keep in mind the significance of eye contact. A relaxed and friendly tone urge everybody to speak openly without a second thought showing you as an approachable person. And number three, be short, precise, and clear. Perhaps the best element of a successful correspondence is to keep the message clear and precise. The receiver must understand your message. So the best strategy is to keep the communication short. Whether you are speaking to someone in person or using email, avoid a complex tone and keep it basic so others can understand exactly what you want. Number four, be friendly. A soft and friendly tone always attract others and people feel more comfortable replying to you. Such communication can create confidence in your team and they may think that you are easily approachable to them. It will encourage them to discuss things honestly and can talk to you regarding everything, be it work or personal. Now, this approach should be implemented in every mode of communication. It will make them easy and motivate your team to communicate with you. And number five, have confidence. Confidence is crucial when interacting with others. It gives the reason to build trust among your team that you will keep your words what you have committed. People will not take you seriously or obey your instruction if your interaction with them seem a little bit of confidence. Now, professionals who speak with confidence can pass on the message to associate reasonably and capably. For career development, confidence in communication is critically important. Now, number six, empathy. Your colleague and peers are like your work family, and showing empathy is the best strategy to create a strong bond. Each person has a different concept and understanding, so always give weightage to their point of view. Listen to what they are saying and if you find their ideas perfect or better than yours, don't hesitate to accept the situation. It is important especially if you are the employer. It shows that 
how you respect them and give value to their opinions. And number seven, be open-minded. To engage your team members in a candid and open conversation, a friendly tone is an ingredient to communicate with them. This will create a comfort zone and your team members will think you are approachable for a conversation. They will come to discuss everything with you, be it work or personal. And this is not just limited to talking. You can implement this in every mode of communication, whether they are emails or text messages. Staying an open mind is very important for new employees as it helps them to connect with co-worker and understand the organizational culture. Number eight, respect. Be respectful to others and give value to their ideas and opinion. Respect is initiated by empathy and by active listening. A team has different talents from different fields. So don't assume that you are the best. Others will feel more comfortable communicating with you if you respect their ideas. Always explain to your team how a person is important to do a particular task. This will make the person feel appreciated and encourage others to perform in a better way. Number nine, provide feedback. It always brings motivation when you get positive feedback from the senior management or boss. Similarly, when you provide feedback to your team with some positive note, it boosts the morale of the staff. For professional communication at the workplace, give and receive feedback properly. Sometimes saying simple words like good job or thanks for finishing the project timely can search the motivation level of the employee. And number 10, choose the right medium. Another important communication skill is to understand the selection of communication medium for different tasks at the workplace. You must learn where to communicate in person and where to convey the message through email or phone. Your subordinate will appreciate your professional attitude and more likely to respond positively. I'm Sean Fon with Dual Soft, and if you have any question at all or anything that you wanted to know, go and leave your question in the comment box below or just send us an email. Stay tuned. I will see you in the next video. And in the meantime, keep learning.